Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares, uh, A, B, C, D, and this another square, E, F, G, C, put together, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the distance uh, between point uh, A and uh, F is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 37 units. And the side length uh, of this uh, larger square is uh, 7 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, larger square A, B, C, D. And we know its uh, side length is uh, 7. So therefore, uh, all of uh, its uh, side lengths uh, are going to be 7 units as well across the board. And now we are going to focus on this uh, smaller square EFGC. The side length uh, of this uh, smaller square is unknown. Let's assume the side length uh, of this smaller square is uh, x then this side is going to be x, this side is going to be x, and x across the board. And now our task is to find the value of x before we could calculate the area of this yellow shaded region. And here's our next step. We are going to connect these two vertices A and C. As you can see in this next step, and now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, AC is the diagonal of this uh, larger square. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the length uh, of this diagonal uh, AC. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is this uh, diagonal AC, whereas our two other legs are uh, 7 and uh, 7. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 7 square plus 7 square equals to our hypotenuse is AC whole uh, square. Let's simplify. We got 49 plus uh, 49 equals to AC square. Let's simplify furthermore. So AC square equals to 98. And I'm going to undo this square by doing uh, the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, we can see this square and square root undo each other. So therefore, our diagonal uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 7 times uh, square root of 2. So that's our this uh, diagonal AC length uh, turns out to be 7 times uh, square root of 2 units. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, these two vertices uh, C and F. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here, let's make an observation once again. We can see that uh, this uh, CF is the diagonal of this uh, smaller square. And now let's focus on this uh, larger square. If these two side lengths are 7 and 7, then its diagonal has got to be 7 times uh, square root of 2. We are going to apply the very same analogy on this uh, smaller square. If these uh, two side lengths are uh, x and x, then this uh, diagonal has got to be x times uh, square root of 2 units. And now let's make an observation. Let's focus on this uh, larger square. We know this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And this AC is uh, our diagonal. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And likewise, uh, this angle is 45 degrees uh, as well. And likewise, let's focus on this uh, smaller square we can see that this uh, angle is 90 degrees and this uh, CF is our diagonal. So no wonder this angle has got to be 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, individual angle uh, ACE is 45 degrees and likewise this other angle ECF is uh, 
45 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this angle over here, this angle has got to be 45 plus 45 is going to give us a 90 degree angle. So therefore, we can see our this angle uh, ACF uh, is a 90 degree angle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 37. Whereas our two other legs are uh, 7 times uh, square root of 2 and uh, x times uh, square root of 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got... Uh, x uh, times the uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus likewise uh, 7 times uh, square root of 2 whole square is going to be equal to 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 37 whole uh, square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, x square plus uh, 98 is going to be equal to 148 on the right hand side and now we are going to subtract 98 from both sides they are gone on the left hand side so therefore 2 times uh, x square turns out to be 50 on the right hand side let's divide uh, both sides by 2 this 2 and 2 is gone x square turns out to be equal to 25 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see that our this uh, side length x value turns out to be positive uh, 5 uh, units so thus we can see our this side length x uh, turns out to be positive 5 and likewise this side length uh, is positive 5 units uh, as well in other words, uh, this uh, side uh, CG is 5 units and likewise uh, this side uh, FG is 5 units as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, side uh, DG is going to be 7 plus 5 uh, is going to make it uh, 12 uh, units. And now let's recall the definition of the trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of parallel sides. So therefore we can see that uh, this uh, whole uh, yellow shaded uh, diagram uh, is indeed a trapezoid. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height uh, h uh, times the sum of the bases uh, a plus b all over 2. And here we can see the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, is uh, 12 units whereas uh, its two other bases are uh, 7 uh, and 5 so therefore uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded trapezoid uh, is going to be our height uh, is uh, 12 divided by 2 times uh, our bases are 7 plus uh, 5 and now we can see 5 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 12 and here 12 divided by 2 is going to reduce to 6. So therefore we are going to have a 6 uh, times uh, 12 and that is going to give us uh, 72 square uh, units. Uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded trapezoid. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded trapezoid uh, turns out to be 72 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.